Hello, everybody. It's your boy, Ronnie Bizzle. It is March 15th, 2020, 10, 20 in the morning, and I am headed to work. Um, not sure what's going to happen. I just uh, read from a post from one of my friends on Facebook who works at a sister property of where I work that uh, she got, uh, she, be, uh, she got, I guess, laid off or I don't know if the room's closing but she's gonna be gone for a month. So I think this is inevitable. If a sister property's gonna do it, I'm sure the poker rooms in this um, network's gonna do the same thing, but no word yet. So I'm gonna drive to work and uh, see what happens. Um, I'm not expecting good news. I'm not expecting, uh, I'm expecting a lot of anxiety and a lot of sadness. But uh, until they tell me that we can't work, I just got to go on with my life and um, see what happens. So let's head to work and see what's going All on. All right, we are approaching the Strip. I just want to give you an idea what it's like here in Vegas. It is, as I'm recording this, it's 1048 in the AM. So it's usually not that busy anyways. But uh, you see some people walking that bridge over there between Caesars and the Bellagio. Uh... Not too much people walking there, and there's kind of empty over there in front of Cromwell. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, not much going on here. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if you see that bridge between Cromwell and Bally's. There's a few people. Not as much as it usually is on a Sunday. There's some uh, people over here walking around. So, I me, mean, I don't know. Like I said, it's Sunday and it's usually pretty slow. Um, There's some people taking pictures over here. So um, right now, no signs of it being really slow, but I'm sure it is. So yeah, let's uh, see what goes on the rest of the day. Hello everybody, it's Ronnie Bizzle. Um, just get out of work, it's about uh, 1.30. Uh, so I will in for an hour and a half. Um, we had, she had one cash game, one tournament. Um, but I was able to get out because we had a lot of dealers. Anyways, I wanted to give you the buzz of how it was because not just in the poker room, but in the casino itself. Um, seemed pretty normal. Uh, people were walking around, people were still gambling, people were still doing what they were doing. But the first thing I noticed is when I was walking to the poker room, there was a group of like cocktail waitresses and bartenders uh, talking in in a group, like I guess with our manager. And I kind of looked and I saw a little bit of uh, desperate eyes in some of them. So, and I come to heard that some of them may get laid off tomorrow. Um, so that's unfortunate for them. But uh, as far as our room is concerned. Um, there's still a lot of rumors going on. Not sure what's going on. The supervisor didn't really know what was happening. And um, so there's still a lot of uh, uncertainty, a lot of anxiety. I mean, we pretty much, since it was a lot of dealers, I spent pretty much the whole time I was there. I, I did one down, one tournament down. But uh, I pretty much, we pretty much spend the rest of the time talking about the what ifs of the poker room what's gonna happen, what has happened, and um, the consequence of if the worst case scenario happens and they close the poker room for 30 days, what's gonna happen? So you can just feel the anxiety, um, feel the stress level high for everybody. You know, people don't know what's going on and that's really what's scaring a lot of people. I mean. They haven't said the room, our room is going to close. Um, so as far as I know, I'll be going back to work tomorrow. Unless I'm told otherwise. But it's just, it's a scary time, boys and girls. You know, I don't know if you can tell from the back. It's actually a really, really beautiful day. It was like 65 degrees here in Vegas. And it's so ironic that it, the day is so beautiful that right now in the casino, it's far as the workers are concerned it's um stress a lot of it 
Um, some of the measures that they're taking, I'll tell you right now, is I was in the cafeteria eating before my shift and they were actually serving us paper plates, paper utensils, and they had the, actually somebody serving us the food instead of us serving it. So we, were, we, we didn't touch the utensils, which is a really, really good thing. I have to give kudos to whoever came up with that, the smartest thing they came up with, but to help prevent the spread of this disease or kind of curtail a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to go home. Um, still, like I said, at this point, as I'm recording this, there's still uncertainty. I still know what's going on. Things could change at any moment. But um, I'll keep you guys updated. But my gut feeling is that either tomorrow, Monday, or Tuesday, I really believe um, the poker room that I work at is going to close down for a time. And... Um, just got to go with the flow. You got to go with what uh, the cards are dealt to you. Well, today is March 9th. No, today's March 16th, 2020. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. And I can officially say um, I'm unemployed right now. <laughs> um, got a text from the... Um, the uh, swing shift supervisor around uh, 5 o'clock p.m. local that they were closing the poke room that I work at and that includes all the poke rooms that work in the network of the company that I work at. So even though I knew it was coming, uh, I was still very shocked um, and I uh, was expecting it. Um, I spent the rest of the night just thinking about what I'm going to do. Um, very stressful. I have a lot of anxiety. Uh, my wife was stressing and had a lot of anxiety. We talked about what we were doing. We've, we've been talking about it for the last four days because we knew this could happen. But, um, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, today... Um, they're having a optional meeting at my place of employment at 10 a.m. So I'm going to go over there and see what's happening. Um, but other than that, uh, it looks like I'm going to be out of work as a poker dealer for the unforeseen future. Uh, at least 30 days, maybe more, depending on how this pandemic um, lasts. It, it sucks right now. You know, I, I worked as a poker dealer for this room for almost 15 years and the end came so suddenly that, that's really the shocking part you know two weeks ago i wasn't even the coronavirus wasn't even on my mind and two weeks later it's uh cost me my job pretty much um so I am one of like over 400,000 people that work in the state of Nevada that works in the tourism, gaming, hospitality industry. So I'm in the same boat with a lot of people right now. Um, but you know, nothing we can do about but wait. You know, the worst thing about it and the really bad thing about it is even though I'm temporarily out of work, the uncertainty is still there because I'm not sure if I'll have a job at the end of 30 or 45 days. That's the worst part about it because, you know, this is a business, you know, the casinos are in the, in the, the casinos are in the world where they have to make money. And this could be, you know, an opening for them to permanently close the poker room after it's all done. You know, they can look at their books and say, well, this, this section of the casino is not making any money, so let's get rid of it. And for those of you guys who don't know, poker, room, poker rooms don't make any money for the house. It's more of an amenity for the guests. So that's what I'm more worried about, that you might see, that might give them time, the higher-ups, to look at the number and say, well, we don't need the poker room anymore, let's get rid of it. And that's the uncertainty that I am looking at. As far as um, living... 
I think I'll be okay. You know, I got a little, I got a little money saved up. I don't have many bills. Um, I'm still running my eBay business, but um, that income of being a dealer is going to leave a big hole. So right now it's tough. Um, as I'm recording this, I'm anxiety's there, the stress is there, the stress level is very very high, but. Like I said, I'll get through it. My family will get through it. You know, we've had me and the wife and I've had financial difficulties before, but nothing to this level. This is gonna be a, probably the most challenging time of my life as far as keeping my family together, keeping every, the, the, the family unit together, holding up until this uh, pandemic, this Corona pandemic passes. But uh, in the meantime, I'll still be working on eBay. I'll still be making YouTube videos for you guys because I really enjoy it. It's probably gonna be a, um, making the YouTube videos probably gonna be like a therapeutic to me. I'm, I'm gonna enjoy it more and probably gives me more time to make more videos, you know. I'm still gonna go garage selling. Still gonna try to make money. Still gonna just vlog about my life and see what's going on. But uh, I'll definitely give you guys updates on what's going on. I hope you guys um, continue to watch. So anyways, this is your boy Ronnie Bizzle signing off for now. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody.